So today we are going to learn how to get started with options trading on Bybit. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you place your first options order on Bybit. So on the desktop, you click on derivatives, go to USDC options on the navigation bar to enter the USDC options trading page. This is how it looks like, and you go to the Bybit website, go to derivatives, and click on options in order to access the options. And then, so the USDC options trading page consists of two main sections. The first one is the summary tabs, view details about your option trades including position summary, expiration date, Greeks, position, active order, order history, and trade history. So then the second one is options trade, options chain. Displays important market information related to the options contract that you selected, including the underlying price, strike price, delta, mark price, and more. So on options, you can see the sections where you can show, to show your position, active order, order history, trade history, and all that. And then the calls and the puts. Okay. Right, so there's a picture of the buy rate options page. So the big and ask columns display the prices at which market participants are willing to buy or sell options contracts. So step two, select an expiration date you are interested in, or you can display all the expiration dates at once. The expiration date of the option you intend to buy or sell from the dates listed at the top of the options chain. Okay, this is an example. Step 3 is select option type calls or puts. You can view call options displayed on the left side of the options chain and put options on the right. Strike price is displayed in the middle. So calls calls refers to you buying an option and then puts refers to you selling an option. So step four, click on the desired strike price on the left side calls or right side puts of the option chain and the order placement window will appear on the right side of the trading page. Okay. In the order placement window, you will be able to view the details of the options, implied volatility, delta, gamma, and more. Next, you can enter order parameters to place your options order by price or IV, which is implied volatility settings. Please note that only limit orders are currently supported. Set via price. Select your trade direction, buy or sell. Enter the order price. Enter the quantity to buy or sell. Select boost only, which is optional. Select your time in four strategies, which is also optional. Okay. So this of you know buy or sell when you place an order. On the buy with options page, then set via IV. So you select your trade direction, buy or sell. Enter the amount of IV. Enter the quantity to buy or sell. Select post only, which is optional. Select your time in four strategies, which is also optional. All right. So this is an example of IV and buy or sell. How it looks like. SF6. Click on Place Order to bring up a confirmation window. Step 7. Confirm that all the information you have entered is accurate and click on Confirm. Okay. Then your order has been successfully submitted.
All right. So let's take, for instance, uh, find a chart of Bitcoin since Bitcoin is the only option that, yeah, can only trade Bitcoin options for now. All right. Let's find Bitcoin chart. The USDT better. Budget for it. Okay, so let's take for instance you you see this cell setup and then you want to open a cell position. So how you do it is that you buy a put option and then sell this put option with a lower strike price to fund your pages. So like if you believe that a stock will fall you then into that clear but if price is at say thirty thousand then you believe that it will fall all the way to maybe twenty thousand you go to the options then maybe you believe that it might expire maybe a week later so maybe 30th of this month we're going to find the 30th day this month all the way to July okay so you put it at 24 and then since in your call is buying and put is selling you would sell the put at the price 30 click on sell select the quantity you want to sell then click on okay just have to shush Okay, so if you've done the quiz and everything, then click on, you know, the button to execute the order. So you sell at thirty thousand. Then when price gets to twenty thousand, you buy the put. So you go and look for twenty thousand. You come here, buy. Sell the quantity and then you then click on the button to execute the order so that's how you open and close the cell position so you open the cell position by selling the put at 30,000 and then you close, you exit your position by buying the put at 20,000. Then the opposite is for buy setup. So in a buy setup, you buy, you buy to open your position, buy the call, maybe you buy it. 30,000 buy a quote 30,000 so you go to the 
section where there's a call then select which date you want to buy sell it at which will be it's also referred to as a vertical spread and then you sell the call at say thirty two thousand four hundred ninety one. So you buy at thirty thousand somewhere four hundred and one and you sell at thirty two thousand and three hundred and ninety two. So that's how you open a buy or sell position on buy rate option.